get this Guy Wedding inspired look. Um, I am quite a fan of Guy's work. I really love his visuals and his use of colors. Um, I know that some people have some opinions because of how risque some of his photographs are, particularly those including um, models, but I still really enjoy it and I just, I love the way the models are styled. They have such a distinct look. I feel like it really like encapsulates what I imagine like mid to late 70s, early 80s makeup would look. This like very wild contoured like blush temple combo like they bring blush into the temples they contour their face with it i just think it's really beautiful i love the elongated eyes and you know the very glamorous glossy lips i just feel like it's very opulent very glamorous and it's very much a style that i enjoy because um i like things that are kind of gaudy so <laughs> um and I think that his uh, his vision was so profound because um, you know Francois Nars, who is founder of the Nars makeup company, was actually just so inspired to become a makeup artist after seeing some of the makeup looks in Guy uh work. So I think that says a lot with uh, with his uh, you know Guy's style and his visions and his visuals. So. Yeah, um, enough of me talking. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to get this look because otherwise this tutorial, tutorial will be forever. So, um, yeah. I don't know why I'm stuttering so much. I swear it's like I've never done this before. It has been a few months though. <laughs> All right, tutorial. Because I want my face to look very mannequin-esque, I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite primer and work that into my face. Next, I am taking my favorite foundation and painting that all over my face. I decided to use an actual foundation brush today just because it feels more painterly and that's literally the only reason why. Now I'm going to set my face with some loose face powder and I'm really setting and focusing on the areas that tend to crease the most under eyes, around my nose, but I am setting everything because I want a very matte finish. I'm adding a little extra powder underneath my eyes just to catch any of the fallout that I'm probably going to have. Now I am taking a black eyeliner pencil and I'm mapping out a shape. So I want this to be elongated and kind of winged out and I want my bottom lash line to meet up with the top line. And I'm filling in the inner and outer corners because I do want to create a somewhat of a halo eye, but with a winged out effect. Next I am taking a clean pencil brush and now I'm going to diffuse the line of this eye look and if you see me put the brush down what I'm doing is wiping off excess product that's getting on the brush and then going back in and I'm continuing to blend and soften this I want it to look very diffused very soft but still maintain some of that shape Next, take a wet brush and you can use contact solution or whatever you have and I'm going to pick up a metallic green eyeshadow and it's going to create this really beautiful foil effect and just go ahead and apply that all over the lid. Next, I'm going to take a jewel tone purple and load my blending brush with that and I'm going to work this color into the crease. And this is going to help soften that eyeliner that we laid down. I really want to elongate my eyes and extend it, but I still want it to remain somewhat soft, but still have that shape. 
I'm going to take a matte black eyeshadow and a smaller shader brush and I'm going to pat this onto the inner and outer corner of my eyes, blending that into the purple as well as kind of blending that into the green. And we're really just kind of adding more dimension to this eye look. Same eyeshadow, but with a pencil brush, I'm going to go ahead and sweep that onto my bottom lash line and soften that and deepen it. And now I'm just going to sweep off that excess loose powder under my eyes. Now onto my favorite part of this look, I am taking a few different red and pink blushes and I am going to contour my face with this. First I'm applying it onto the top of my cheekbones, sweeping that into the hairline, brushing that into my temples. I'm really starting off lightly and just building up the color and blending it out because I want it to look very defined but I still want it to be quite soft. Next, I want to take a magenta or fuchsia eyeshadow and with a little angled shader brush, I'm going to apply this into the outer corner of my wings and blend that color into the temples. I want it to look very cohesive and very blended, that it just kind of goes into the rest of your makeup. I also want to do a touch of this color into the inner corner of the eyes just for a little more depth. Feel free to go in with a blush brush and just blend this out further. Now I'm just touching up the black parts of this eye look, reinforcing that color, making sure everything looks very vivid. Now I'm going back in with some more of that green and just touching up the center of the eye and making sure that it's blending into the black nicely. I'm just taking some of that face powder and I'm applying that onto the brow bone once again just to blend everything out and make everything look nice and smooth and very soft and diffused. And here I am just touching up my eyeliner a bit making sure that inner corner is nice and pointed. Um, you can use a liquid eyeliner for this too but I just decided to stick with the pencil. I wanted to keep my eyebrows fairly natural so I am just using a brow gel and running that through them just for a little bit more shape but I don't want them to look too heavy. This is a 70s inspired look after all. I am taking both a pink and a gold shimmery highlight and just applying that onto the top of my cheekbones and dusting a little bit of that onto my temples and onto the tip of my nose and just above my cupid's bow. I'm also allowing this to get onto my brow bone but I'm not really focusing too much on that area. I'm going back in with my face powder and I'm making sure that my face is super mattified but this also helps with blending in the blush and the highlight and everything trying to make this once again a cohesive look. And now I'm going to take a very black liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to do a very thin line on the top of my lash line I'm not really winging it out it just pulls the look together makes it look more finished. Now add heaps and heaps of mascara to your top and bottom eyelashes. Now I really do feel like false eyelashes complete this look so I'm just taking a ridiculous exaggerated dramatic pair and plopping those onto my eyelids. And don't forget to touch up your lash band with a little bit of liquid eyeliner. Now for the lips, I am taking a red lipstick onto a lip brush. I'm using a lip brush because it's a little bit more precise. And I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lips. I am overlining them just a little bit because I do want them to look very full and very like dramatic. 
Now I am using Max Ruby Woo, which is more of a blue undertoned red lipstick, but I will actually say that an orange undertoned lipstick works much better with this look. I want those lips really saturated, so now I'm going back in straight from the tube. Now I'm taking a little bit of an orange lipstick and applying that over that so that I can have more of a red undertone to my lips. Now I'll take the glossiest gloss that you can find and just really lacquer those lips up. They need to be dripping with lip gloss. If your lips don't look like patent leather after this, then you're not doing this look right. This is it for the completed look. I am so in love with this look. Um, I'm a huge fan of Giburan, as you guys know. I've mentioned it before, I think, on Tumblr. But I just, there's something about like makeup from like the late 70s going into the early 80s when you think of like disco era makeup. I like the using blush, like very bright red and pink blush to contour your face. I like that they bring it up into the temples and into the hairline. I love that the eye makeup is usually elongated and it goes out and the lips, so much lip. I love <laughs> these really like vibrant, vivid, lacquered, patent leather looking lips. I think it's beautiful and I just love it all together. I know it's very excessive <laughs> for um, some people who probably, you know, if you guys prefer more natural looks, but I just, I love glamour. And when I look at uh, Giborin's work, I think like that's the epitome of glamour, the way the models are styled that is. And you know, that Patrick Nagel, I don't know, it's just, a, it's a beautiful look. And I had so much fun kind of crafting and putting pieces together from different types of makeup looks that I really enjoy. And yeah, I just, I love this look. And um, I know I would probably look a little wild going out in public, but I think I just may because, come on. <laughs> Um, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions about this look, feel free to ask down below. I will be leaving a list of all the products that I used in the description box. Um, I'm gonna try to be better at, <laughs> like, linking things down below and letting you guys know. I have an Instagram at Dandelion April. Um, I'm also on Tumblr and Twitter with the same uh, like social media handle at Dandelion April. So if you're wondering if I have anything, just like search that and most likely you'll find me. Um, I would also like to say a big thank you to everybody who has left me very nice comments and messages here on YouTube, on my Tumblr, on Instagram, on Twitter. Um, you guys are so nice. Like, I can't believe how sweet some of you guys are. And, um, you know, I, I read all of your comments even though I am terrible at answering <laughs> back. Uh, that was my New Year's resolution. I'm gonna try to be much better you know, a much better YouTuber, a much better just person in general. But um, I just really wanted to say thank you guys so much. I also wanted to say hello because I got like a slew of new followers and I was like, hey, that's, I, I didn't know why. I was like, oh crap, like is my video on somewheres where it shouldn't? I don't know, I didn't know what to think. But um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Elote Preparado, um, she included me and one of her videos for um, her favorite YouTubers and I was just like, 
because I love her channel so much. I love her Instagram. I think that she's like amazing and she's very talented. Like if you guys aren't following her, you need to go follow her. Also, sorry, am I gendering you? I'm really sorry if I am, but you guys need to go follow Elote Preparado because the looks are amazing. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking because I don't want this video to be ridiculously long, but thank you again. And uh, until next time, bye.